name is Reverend Dr. Nichelle Guidry, and I serve as the Dean of Sisters Chapel and the Director of the Wisdom Center at Spelman College. I am elated to bring an invocation for today's event. Please pray with me. God, we gather in the spirit of gratitude for all that has been graciously bestowed upon us and upon Spelman College. Thank you for our community who have held us up, supported our vision, and poured into the livelihood of this precious and sacred place. As we come together now, we are inspired to elevate and ascend to even greater heights. We have come such a long way. And as we look ahead, we are excited about our future. For in our future, we see greater strength and promise. We see greater impact and even higher heights. We see ourselves building new bridges, leaving no sibling behind, and continuing to light the way for Black women to change the world. And God, we are confident that with your guidance and your spirit, we are well able to complete this mission. In gratitude, we pray in all of your holy names. Amen. Hello, everyone. I'm Roz Brewer, current Chief Operating Officer of Starbucks and soon to be CEO of Walgreens Boots Alliance, but forever a Spelman woman. It goes without saying that there is something extraordinary about the Spelman community. Spelman is many things. It contains multitudes. We are women, brilliant, bright, black, and powerful. We are a historic community of higher learning, spellbound to a mission, but unbound by any one definition. As Spelman's board chair and chair of this campaign, I'm thrilled to announce the formal launch of our $250 million campaign, Spelman Ascends. This campaign aims to push the limits of what the Spelman community can do together and marks an incredibly exciting time to be part of our community. I want to recognize and thank our campaign donors. It is your generosity that helps us continue being a college of excellence, but also a launching pad, a safe haven, and an arbiter of culture. Spelman Ascends is designed to deliver the Spelman promise by enhancing scholarship support by $70 million and creating a summer bridge program, starting with an Atlanta Public Schools partnership. We'll also elevate the Spelman difference through endowing faculty professorships and promoting expertise in the science of learning and enhanced research opportunities. We will enhance our operational excellence by creating a technology innovation fund, investing in our staff and faculty fund, and expanding our annual given by $15 million. Finally, we will continue to promote academic innovation through the construction of the Center for Innovation and the Arts, creating an endowment for the center, renovating the Rockefeller Fine Arts Building, and enriching Spelman College Museum of Fine Arts. What's more, we've already achieved 90% of our goal. This campaign is driven by the pursuit of integrating and globalizing learning, teaching creatively and with rigor, leading from our authentic core, living sustainably, improving ourselves continuously, and collaborating to better our quality of life. These ambitious goals build on our accomplishments as the premier historically black college for women. And so we invite you to join us in pushing our college beyond our legacy of excellence. We invite you to help us keep changing lives. Our students, our alumni, and our far reaching community are proof of the never ending succession of Spelmanites and Spelman women living together, working together and growing together. Spellman is Stacey Abrams and Alice Walker and Sophia Packard and Harriet Giles, all those who preceded us and all those still to come. Spellman is a sisterhood for the good of the global community. They travel by car, by train, by bus, by plane, from small towns and large cities, all across the nation and around the world. 
There are no detours or long stops in their travel. No need for maps or road signs. They know the route well with their eyes closed. Having traveled it a thousand times in their dreams, they arrive. Some at dawn. Others in the dark of night. What does when matter when you have arrived where you want to be? The gate opens. They enter. Wearing all the colors of beauty and genius and character. Brown, dark brown, cocoa brown, light brown, smooth brown. Yellow, bright yellow. Butterscotch yellow and bold yellow like the rising sun. And black, proud black, brilliant. And will not defend myself black. A rainbow of beauty and genius and character. They enter, holding their goals and dreams and passions, their needs and wants, their certainty that Spelman College is where they belong and where they will begin to become who they are destined to be. You ask why year after year and decade after decade, students from across the nation and around the world, students from all backgrounds and faiths, orientations and dreams, talents and needs, travel to Spelman College. Certain that the gate will open. Certain that once inside the gate, they will hear voices singing in alto, and tenor and soprano singing in, in harmony. harmony the words they have heard in their dreams. Welcome, Welcome to, to Spelman. Spelman. You have arrived. Home. Since 1881, more than 20,000 students have entered through the gates and graduated and continued their education in medical schools and law schools and graduate schools across the nation and around the globe. You ask what brings students by train, by car, by bus, and by air to the Spellman Gates. Year after year after year, we, we answer. answer. It is the Spellman magic. Creative teaching. A community of learning and a sisterhood like none other. In this, the 21st century, Spellman magic is enhanced by the Spelman College vision for the future. That vision includes the Spelman promise that the college will explore new ways of teaching that will include the use of technology in the classroom. We'll create a summer bridge program for all students that gives them a national outreach. We'll ensure that every student who enrolls at Spelman will graduate from Spelman. No sister will be left behind. We'll forge ties between the arts and liberal arts and technology. In the future, when new students travel from small towns and large cities all across the nation and around the world, some arriving at dawn and others in the dark of night, the gates will open and they will enter bringing with them their goals and their dreams, their needs and their passions. They will enter. Prepared for the 21st century. As, as Spellman, Spellman promised. promised. Hi, my name is Jordan Lawrence and I'm a first year student in the class of 2024 at Spelman College, studying international studies with the concentration in international development. The Spelman promise means that no high performing student should ever find that Spelman's doors are closed to them. Donors like Frank Baker and Laura Day Baker help make it possible for Spelmanites to receive the financial aid they need to pursue their education and passions. My name is Frank Baker. I'm the co-founder and managing partner of Sears Capital, and I am a huge fan and supporter of Spelman College. As we all know, our women are the backbone of our community. 
oftentimes they are the head of household and the breadwinner. And it's critically important that we educate our women and get them into the workplace because I really believe that they will make a big difference as our country continues to evolve. It's important that we support Spelman, not only to help these women pay their college tuition, but also have a well-rounded experience while they're on campus. They need to travel abroad. They need summer internships because it's the combination of those experiences plus the educational experience that will give them a tremendous amount of confidence as they enter the world. Spelman women can make a difference in corporate America, they can make a difference in politics, and they can make a difference in philanthropy. And it's critically important that we support them and support the college. There are three very simple words that I use to guide me both through a business and philanthropic activities. And maybe these three words will help motivate you to do more for Spelman College. Learn, earn, return. It's time for us to keep returning because we need these women in the world. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Scales, and I am a sophomore, class of 2023 student at Spelman College studying biology. When Spelmanites say the Spelman difference, we are talking about the opportunity we have to learn from our incredible faculty. Through gifts from people like the Charles and Lucille King Family Foundation, represented here by Eugene Cocott, Spelman College is able to fund new endowed professorships, which in turn attract the higher caliber of educators. I'm Eugene Cocott, the Chair and President of the Charles and Lucille King Family Foundation. I speak to you today on behalf of Greg Coleman and Deborah Soul, my colleagues on the Board of Trustees. Let me say at the outset that as Chair, I follow in the footsteps of our extraordinarily generous benefactor and original President and Chair, Diana King, who passed away in January of 2019. Our Foundation's introduction to Dr. Campbell predated by many years her presidency of Spelman. In one of those significant coincidences of fate, Diana sat next to Dr. Campbell roughly 25 years ago on the flight deck of the USS Intrepid in New York Harbor at a memorial service for a mutual friend and colleague. At the time, Dr. Campbell was Dean of the Tisch School of the Arts at NYU, and the service was for a deceased NYU faculty member who was the educational director of our foundation. From that meeting, there blossomed a great personal friendship between Diana and Dr. Campbell and an enduring relationship between our foundation and Dr. Campbell's professional academic pursuits. Needless to say, after Dr. Diana King's untimely death, finding the best vehicle to honor her dedication to Dr. Campbell's leadership of Spelman College fell to the foundation's surviving board members. On January 2020, on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Dr. Campbell hosted the King Foundation Board of Trustees to a day-long visit to Spelman. And it should come as no surprise, our exposure to the campus and the Spelman community fortified our desire to make a meaningful financial contribution to help deliver on the Spelman promise. To that end, it is our honor to commit $4 million to endow two professorships in media arts and an additional three and a half million dollars for scholarships, all of which has now been fully funded. These gifts will fund the Diana King professorships in film and filmmaking, television and related media, and the Diana King scholarships. Hi, my name is Taylor Deuce and I am a junior in the class of 2022 at Spelman College studying sociology, anthropology, and Spanish. Enhancing operational excellence affects so many aspects of our Spelman experience because of the numerous innovations made to our technology infrastructure. Everything from the application process to our advising and learning platforms to our email and learning to manage enemy systems have been impacted by donors like Gina Ash and Celeste Watkins Hayes for supporting Spelman's digital transformation, upgrading and elevating our campus and our community to be future forward. 
My name is Gina Ash, and I am from the incredible class of 1983. I have also been a member of the Spelman Board of Trustees since 2014. I am passionate about Spelman College because of the impact it has had on shaping the lives of women of African descent and ensuring our rightful place in society for more than 100 years. And the work of our beloved institution in that regard is never done. And that's why I give to the college to help ensure that this spectacular work of forging a pipeline of success for women who look like us continues for centuries to come. As a dual degree electrical engineering student while attending Spelman, I am particularly interested in ensuring that the college is on solid footing when it comes to technology and innovation. If we want our graduates to continue to compete on a global scale, their access to technology and innovation must be first rate. And that's why I'm giving to this campaign. In the midst of all we are facing as a planet and our students are facing as young adults on the brink of adulthood and careers, it is more important than ever that Spelman be that beacon of reliability and operating excellence that allows our students to continue on their higher education journey without missing a beat. Hello, I am Celeste Watkins Hayes, class of 1996 and a former board member on the Spelman College Board of Trustees. I'm also the Jean E. Fairfax Collegiate Professor of Public Policy and Professor of Sociology at the University of Michigan. I support Spelman because Spelman supported me. I give to Spelman because of its power as an institution. It is a place that centers the lives, histories, and experiences of Black women, women who go on to change the world for the better. It's critical for us to support our beloved institution for future generations and to uphold the legacy of past generations of women who have called Spelman home. I give to Spelman in a number of ways, but I'm really excited to uplift my work on operational excellence through my contributions to the Technology Innovation Fund. As we know, technology has become central to our learning environment, critical for our operations as a college and an important part of our community building. So I wanna support that so that we can continue to develop one of the most impactful institutions that the world has ever seen. I support Spelman because Spelman supported me. Hi, my name is Fana Haile Selassie, and I am a senior class of 2021 student at Spelman College studying international studies. Spelman women and Spelmanites are the definitions of innovation, exemplified by our college's storied history, and most recently, our STEAM programs that give Black women the liberal arts education they need to enter fields where they have been historically underrepresented. My name is Alexis Porter, and I'm a graduating senior class of 2021 student at Spelman College studying economics. Of course, innovation is at the core of everything Spelman does, but innovation also means there is always more to do. With donors like Rhonda Stryker and William Johnson, Spelman is able to create innovative curricula and support the construction of the Center for the Innovation and the Arts. My name is Rhonda Stryker, and for 20 years, I have had the honor and privilege of serving on the Spelman College Board of Trustees. I have always strongly believed that education can be both a powerful and transformational tool for women. I believe in the quote, when you educate a woman, you educate a family and many generations to come. I care deeply for Spelman, and I have seen firsthand the enormous impact it has made on the highly talented students fortunate enough to attend. I have listened to both faculty and administration speak of the vision and mission of Spelman as well as their individual and collective work with such passion. Too often, their work has been founded at a level significantly below their need. It's important to me that all women be provided an opportunity to explore their talents, 
challenge their self-doubts, and realize the power of achieving individual success. Creating the best environment for faculty to teach and students to learn takes resources that are still left wanting by many women at Spelman. I am passionate about this campaign because I have witnessed the extraordinary accomplishments of Spelman women and faculty over these past two decades. I know that with more resources, more can be done for the women who have yet to learn and grow and become of that very special Spelman sisterhood. That possibility drives my resolve to help in whatever way I can. Please, won't you join me in this amazing opportunity? Hi, I'm Seth Klarman. My wife Beth and I are co-chairs of the Klarman Family Foundation. We first became involved with Spelman College after listening to Dr. Tatum speak about the many young women who were forced to drop out of Spelman over financial difficulties. I went up to Dr. Tatum and arranged a meeting, which inspired our first gift to Spelman. A few years later, we arranged to spend a day and a half on campus meeting with Dr. Campbell and a number of students, faculty, and administrators and have now made two additional multi-year gifts to support scholarships for Spelman students. Our biggest takeaway from our visit was the extraordinary caliber of the young women who attend Spelman. We want to see them attend, graduate, and go on to achieve their dreams. And we are so glad to see so many others rallying behind and contributing to this very impactful institution. My name is Gwen Norton, and I am a trustee of the board of Spelman College. And I give because I am making an investment in the next generation of leaders. My name is April Nadine King, and I'm the special assistant to the provost at Spelman College. I give because I believe in our mission. I believe that we are educating the black women to lead in our nation and in our world. My name is Janine Brown, and I'm a proud member of the Spelman College Board of Trustees. I give because I believe in the incredible impact that Spelman College makes on our students, our alumni, and all of our communities. I'm Mark Lee, faculty trustee to the board. I give because Spelman is a great investment. I'm Susan Dunn, and I serve on the Board of Trustees at Spelman College. I give to Spelman because I want to provide financial support to our brilliant young women. Hi, my name is Sophia Howard. I'm a Comparative Women's Studies and Philosophy double major from Nashville, Tennessee. And the reason that I gave to Spelman is because Spelman has given so much to me. I'm Jerry DeVard, and I'm a 1979 graduate of Spelman College. I also had the privilege of serving on the Spelman College Trustee Board for nine years. I give to Spelman because Spelman has given me so much and I wanna give back to other black women. There's no doubt that you'll get a great education at Spelman College, but what Spelman College gives you, the magic of Spelman is that they're gonna nurture your mind, body, and soul. And there's no doubt that a great degree of my success is because what I learned as a confident black woman at Spelman College. Hi everyone, my name is Marjorie McMorris and I am the founder and board chair of the Helix School in Mill Valley, California. I graduated Spelman in 1993. Now the reason why I give is so that Spelman women can graduate and fulfill their dreams. I am Professor Beverly Guy Sheftal, class of 1966 and the Anna Julia Cooper Professor of Comparative Women's Studies. I am also founding director of the Women's Research and Resource Center. I became an enthusiastic supporter, donor to the college 
specifically our Women's Center programs and students around LGBTQ issues, which has brought tremendous visibility to the college as a major advocate of this particular social justice issue. My name is Mary Picard, a proud member of the class of 2015 and a corporate associate attorney in Detroit, Michigan. I give to Spelman because I'm thankful for the professors who guided and inspired me throughout my journey. My name is Ted Aronson. I'm a trustee of Spelman College. I give because I want Spelman's campus to continue to be a hub of excellence and innovation. I should know because I've been involved with Spelman in one capacity or another 35 years, the last 15 as a member of the board. And in that position, I chair the finance committee and the investment committee. In other words, the money committees. Over my lifetime, my wife Barbara and I have given more of our treasure to Spelman than any other institution. That should give you a sense of how I feel about it. We will continue to do so because I am well aware as the money man, the importance and the extent of this project. And we're committed because frankly, Spelman deserves it. Hello, my name is Cara Johnson Hughes and I am a graduate of the class of 2003 and a very proud trustee of Spelman College. I give because the Spelman Promise creates female leaders who have a global impact. And this is my choice to change the world. My name is Allison Shumpert Dorsey, class of 2002 and senior alumni programs manager in the Office of Alumni Engagement. I give because I get to see my Spelman sisters turn from scholars into subject matter experts who are released to change the world. I know that my gift makes it a little easier for them to matriculate without having to worry about the financial burden of tuition. To all of you who have tuned in today, I thank you with all of my heart. As you could hear this afternoon, Spellman's goals are expansive. So too is our spirit. That spirit thrives on innovation, ethical intelligence, service, spirituality, and the will to lead. To honor that spirit, we set for ourselves the outrageously ambitious goal of raising $250 million in seven years. Today, we celebrate a community that rallied to the challenge of that ambitious goal. We have soared. In less than four years, each and every one of you contributed to our ability to raise over 90% of our capital campaign goal. Thank you. Today, we invite you to join us to take Spelman College beyond the finish line. Already, your contributions are transforming the college. Today, you've heard from some of our stellar students. Thanks to you, many more of our students will be able to complete their degrees. You've heard from our talented and committed faculty. Thanks to you, the campaign is enabling us to endow professorships, offer professional development, and establish strategic partnerships that honor faculty excellence at Spelman in teaching, mentoring, research, and creative production. Thanks to you, Spelman is on its way to a digital transformation. And thanks to you, we will build a new academic facility, our first in 20 years, a center for innovation and the arts. Your contributions have seeded new programs in art history and curatorial studies, an institute of gender and sexuality, a center of excellence for minority women in STEM that enables us to continue to graduate more black women who complete PhDs in STEM fields than any other college or university in the country. You have made it possible for Spelman to partner with Morehouse College to launch the first ever National Center for Black Entrepreneurship. Even as your gifts have supported longstanding programs at Spelman like our Social Justice Fellows and Food Studies Program. Together, we are forging new academic frontiers for Spelman College 
even as we continue to honor our most cherished traditions. All of this is possible because of you, our students, faculty, staff, trustees, alumni, friends of the college. You are our circle of supporters, our coalition of the faithful. In the best of times, your generosity affirms us. In these trying times, your faith in us inspires us to continue to ascend even higher. Your faith in us reminds me of the words of the young poet Amanda Gorman, and I quote, for there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Your faith in us reminds me of the words of the Spellman hymn, you are our beacons of heavenly light. You are our light and we are grateful. Be well and keep the faith. Tomorrow, what I can do today. 